I don't know whether you've noticed this, but if you see cars with disc brakes and all the four wheels, you'd see that the size of the rear rotors are smaller than the ones in the front. This is the same in bikes as well. The front rotors are larger than the ones in the rear. Ever wondered why? This is because of something called brake biasing. Let us go back to 11th grade physics. The equation for the torque of any object is force multiplied by distance from the pivot. Whenever you engage brakes on a vehicle, the braking torque produced by the actuation of the calipers on the brake rotor is what's stopping the vehicle. So if you have bigger rotors, the point of application of force from the center is going to be of a greater distance. This is why as vehicles become faster, the size in the rotor increases. You can easily notice this by comparing the size of the front disc in an R15 and Duke 390. But why do you need to change the sizes between the two brakes? Brake bias is where engineers distribute the braking force over the front and the back of the vehicle in an unequal manner to ensure efficient braking and stability. A general thumb of rule is when it comes to brakes, that rear brakes are going to decide how much you slow down the vehicle and the front brakes decide when you are going to stop the vehicle. If you ride a motorcycle, you would realize that this is what you have been subconsciously doing for this long. By increasing the braking torque in the front, you tend to increase the braking efficiency. Imagine this, it is easier to stop a running person from the front than to prevent him by pulling him from the back. Same principle applies here. Also. If you increase the braking torque in the rear by providing bigger rotors, there is a greater chance of rear wheels locking and getting slipped, that is if you remove ABS out of the equation. So in any combination, it makes the most sense to keep the front rotor larger than the rear one. But you may ask, why not keep them both in the same size? There is an answer to that question as well, which we are going to answer in the next part. To know more about these interesting details about automobiles, Join us at Brain Lab.